Yes, 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 folks. Guys, listening to one of five point three Afro FM, your infotainment station, right here on the Hepburn Song Show. With me, your host, Mr. Zeke, the Sydney Freak, Aurora Freakness, and Rebecca Son, the Afro Studio. Yes, yes, yes. And hopefully, you guys are having a good time with us. And previously, we just listened to the previous tracks of the old school hour, Mariah Carey, without you, followed by Lua Bega, Mumbo Number no. Five. Yes, yes. Don't you like that song? I love it. I love it. Definitely, definitely. And hopefully, you guys can still hit us up right across the rest of this line, eighty four forty four, the Facebook page, Facebook dot com slash one five point three Afro. FM. Do we have any text messages so far? No, we don't have any text messages so far, but yes, I hope you guys are having a good time with us. I mean, that's why they're not texting, because they're so <laughs> having so much fun, they're so busy texting, Well, let's be, let's, let's be so, so much positive <laughs> about that. Uh, in the midst of this special segment of our uh, amazing show, Hip Song Show 105.3 Afro FM, we'll, act, we'll always get to love to bring our amazing reporters from Afro FM, our, our, our uh, rigorous, rigorously, meticulously hardworking reporters <laughs> of Afro FM coming through, and as we've already uh, started to talk about it. It's all about the uh, historical visit of the Ethiopian mm -hmm, Prime Minister mm -hmm. towards uh, Asmara Eritrea and uh, as we have already talked about in, in, in continuance, um, Dr. Abiy Ahmed's Chief of Staff Fitzumaraga actually um, announced that the direct international telephone connection between Ethiopia and Eritrea actually has been restored on Sunday for the first time in 20 years yeah. and, the, uh, and the rapprochement of course uh, um, between uh, the two countries is actually welcomed by the region's uh, countries and, and the international community as it will bring in regional uh, stability and enhance regional economic and 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 security cooperation along the Horn of Africa uh, countries and of course yes. you know this might sound like a dream but this is actually happening a dream no, come true a dream come true it's not even actually a too good to be true type of history yeah can, it is real and it is happening so and, real people yes and for further <laughs> more details uh, to append for we got our, our, our amazing reporter and uh, editor-in-chief mm -hmm. of the Afrodesk, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kiram Tadis inside the Afro Studio. Well, welcome Join, aboard, Kira. Joining us today. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. You're very welcome. So, obviously, it's everybody's uh, happy and great news yeah. to, have mm -hmm. heard, to have heard and watched uh, the particular mm -hmm. major scene of the Ethiopian Prime Minister visiting Eritrea and even having the Ethiopian Airlines visiting Eritrea after more than 20 years. So it does have a very, very much a significant impact for those who, who must have, uh, you know, been through the history when when Eritrea was with Ethiopia yeah, and after yeah. uh, the segregation too. This, this was a momentous time, you know. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. really amazing mm -hmm. for the two countries, to, to, for the two people to uh, start to see each other in such a way. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the visit by the Prime Minister Abiy mm -hmm. Ahmed is a very uh, you know, histor historic, huh? yeah, as it definitely. has been said, as you have been mentioning. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, Dr. Abiy uh, uh, has been making um, different reform moves over the past uh, 90 plus days. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, is part of his moves um, towards uh, building peace in the region. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and uh, of course, to, uh, you know, Reconnect with mm -hmm. Eritrea, Eritrean mm -hmm. brothers mm -hmm. uh, and sisters. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, historically, we are the same people. We share common language, culture, and a lot of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it's all about restoring that. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, there are incidents that have taken place. And uh, there was one of the most destructive war mm -hmm. between the two countries mm -hmm. in the 90s, 90s mm -hmm. at the end of the 90s, of mm -hmm. course. And it's time to change this, uh, you know, scenario yeah, into, uh, yeah. into peace, into serenity, peace and uh, that even changed the perception towards, you know, to the region, you know, to, to, towards this administration, mm -hmm. the current administration, European administration from yeah. the global uh, arena. Mm -hmm. Even Guterres has arrived mm -hmm. uh, here in Addis Ababa, the UN Secretary General, mm -hmm. and he's expected to meet him, uh, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed this mm -hmm. afternoon, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and that's also, you know, commendable. And even IGAD Secretary General Ambassador uh, Mahmoud Malim have also has also commended uh, Prime Minister Abiy for mm -hmm. making this, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, historic move towards uh, building peace with Eritrea. Mm -hmm. uh, during his stay, in, uh, of course, his discussion with the uh, Eritrean President Isaiah Saforki, um, Prime Minister Abiy, and the two, of course, of uh, leaders have agreed to, you know, to rebuild the economy, to to, to strengthen ties both economic-wise and uh, diplomatic-wise, and mm -hmm. the embassies uh, will commence their regular operation mm -hmm. very soon, mm -hmm. and that's also expected, that's mm -hmm. also something that uh, we expect, mm -hmm. and uh, I see something, a lot of people are interested, uh, are of course eager to 
This is what I need. That's what I need. For, for exactly. further, for further uh, personal, uh, you know, uh, endeavors, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. I mean, like, I can, I can imagine. I mean, I don't have relatives. Like I was actually saying that in the previous yeah. things as well in Asmara. But you know, I can, I can just, you know, think. You know, the people who are actually there and have an immediate relative. And not even being able to see them, it's so crazy, you know. I can imagine how they're feeling right now. They're definitely be emotional. And I was really overwhelmed, even not even having anybody there in yeah. Asmara. Even the, just the concept of, you know, being one has, you know, so many love within, you know, to, you know, to share it with. Yeah. So, I mean, Infectious. Exactly. And it's so beautiful, you know. You, you know, you can't, you, you just... It's so amazing. There's so many things that you can do with love. Mm, as you saw, the yeah. the the, uh, the uh, live transmission, which was aired on by the Airtran TV yesterday. Yeah. The motorcade uh, was, you know, uh, there was a lot of crowd uh, yeah, no in idea. Asmara. Yeah. 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 A lot of people uh, went out and, you know, the social media attacks were also there. Yeah. You know, they were saying that um, the third uh, rally was in Asmara yeah. after uh, Disaba and... Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. and, you know, it was like that. Yeah, it was so yeah, moving, yeah. it's so emotional, yeah. for sure. Definitely. Even, yeah. of, even of course, the African Union Commissioner for Peace and Security, Ismail Chergui, um, uh, actually welcomed uh, Dr. Abi's uh, visit to Asmara and actually described it as a historical day. And longtime rivals Ethiopia and Eritrea actually got to restore, uh, are starting to restore their relations as they meet for the first time in nearly two decades. And not even only nearly two decades, but even uh, more than that. And one, one particular tweeting of Yamana Meskel, the Eritrean yeah. uh, information minister, at, uh, uh, you know, uh, quoted this way, it's to set the one uh, the, the one tone for, for rapid positive changes on the basis of respect of sovereignty and territorial integrity, equality, and mutual interest of both countries. Which amen to that. Yep, amen <laughs> to that. Uh, which, which was, of course, the talk between the visiting prime minister uh, and the president, uh, Isaiah Salford. Yeah, even we can see, we can consist, take this move, uh, continental-wise, I have been following stories coming out from different African countries over the past three months and I've seen some of, you know, changes being made mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. heads of states and government uh, uh, at different African countries. Mm -hmm. I, I think I take that uh, they're maybe moved or encouraged by what is going on in this region. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. take that. Who is it? Who well, isn't? He actually, Abi Ahmed, I need to give it out to him. I mean, he made the politics so interesting. Even the teenagers, the youngsters, and the youth are actually talking about that. You know, the teenagers is more about like talking about style and fashion and foods and places to go. But now they're actually taking time to talk about politics. You know, they're concerned about their country. So this is a huge achievement. Mm -hmm. I guess this is a huge state. Yeah, and definitely. kudos for this guy. I mean, he no, is so interesting. Yes. Have you seen what happened definitely. last night after the dinner? Uh, there was dinner at the National Palace. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hosted by President Isaias. Mm -hmm. And after that, there, were, there was this coffee ceremony. Mm -hmm. And he was the one. Yeah. He, yeah. Serving. Uh, yeah, Abi was there serving the cookies. Uh, Exactly. Such humility. He at felt such, at home. Exactly. Such humility at such state of, yeah. of, of a seat, a throne. You don't expect that happening. I mean, obviously, I don't know if it's our ego telling us that, but uh, Dr. Abi actually had to, Prime Minister Dr. Abi had to break all that all that uh, thought of ego and brought And be bro humble and down to earth as well. Peace, love, and security and prosperity right there. All the way. Between the two nations. And politically speaking, there is no permanent enemy or, you know, enemy. Yeah. So yeah. things will change. Thank yes. you, change, indeed. Definitely. And uh, Definitely. On, on behalf of the Hitman Sonic Show, I'd like to thank our amazing reporter and editor in chief of the Afro Desk, uh, Kiran Tedes, for coming through. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Kira. And we do have one text message on the line as well with the number that answers 537 saying, Hey guys, Yifru here. Yifru, how are you? Mm -hmm. Good morning. And Dayton and Dina. Mm -hmm. Sunday was my birthday. Happy late, uh, belated birthday. Yes. And I was glad. And I was glad this amazing event took place. Mm -hmm. So best gift ever, Dr. Abi Ahmed. Yes, A is the best. Exactly. I couldn't agree more. Well, well, definitely, yes. definitely as well. So let's get to go ahead for another short musical break. As we get back to you guys, this is the Hip Social One Five Point Three Afro Femme, your infotainment station. Stay let's tuned. Get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes. Let me see. All right. All right. She's still. She's still phoning. <laughs> 